Hello. Okay, today is going to be a little different. I never paint an actual canvas. I usually just use cardboard. So, this I just picked up at Michael's. It's an 8 by 8 inch canvas. And I'm going to show the whole process. We'll see how this goes because this will be different for me. Sorry about that. Okay, just start out. I'm just going to paint it black. And I have this apple barrel gloss that I always use because they have a big bottle of it. I don't normally just squirt it on there, but let's see how this goes. My brush isn't very big. I've got this other. Let's see how this works. This is any better. Get this kind of brush. So I'm just going to work on getting this painted and I will be back when it's primed. Okay, I'm all painted. Now I'm going to find my center. I'm not sure how I'm even going to paint this yet. Just going to make it up as I go along like usual and hope it turns out okay. drawn on here. Now I purchased this protractor. I don't know how it's going to work. I bought it and then I thought it would work good, but it wasn't working too good on my little pieces of canvas because it wouldn't spin. Let's see here. to sharpen my pencil a little bit. All right, let's see how this works. If it works. And I just broke the tip of my pencil off. Lovely. Um, I gotta see if I can see what those numbers are. I tell ya. Then I used, of course I'm blind and I can't read the numbers, so let's see. Well, if you get this protractor, I'm in the third hole, and then the one, four, five, six hole, and the tenth hole. And then I'm going to just circle the outside of this. 
I don't even know if I'm going to use these guidelines. It's just to help me not go off center. Alright. So, they're about, let's see how far apart they are. They're about a half an inch apart. And then this last one is just barely over an inch from that other line. And the center circle... Well, I could probably tell you on this one. Let me my... The center circle is about this size, which is... One and five eighths inch around. So one and five eighths inch around here, and then a half an inch out, half an inch out, and an inch is about where I'm at. And I've got rainbow colors that I pulled out, and I'll put a color listing. in the description as I always do. Okay, from my center dot I'm going to start really big with a number 28 in red. 28 is the biggest I have. And this is bright red but I'll put that in the description. Apple barrel paint, as I always use. And like I said, this, you know, I painted on one canvas before. It was a small, like a 4x4. Four four. So this is the biggest canvas. Well, no, I painted on a canvas board before, but not a stretched canvas like this. So, we'll see how this comes out. I'm just smoothing it out. Okay, that was the number 28 tool. I didn't get my letters out. I'm just not doing so good today. So hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now I'm going to use my orange color. Because I'm going to do kind of a rainbow pattern. My orange color is actually apricot. And I'm going to use the number... And I'm going to put a dot on each one of the lines of that inner circle. And I don't like the way my paint is not spreading, so I'm going to redot them and get more paint on them. This is going to be the first painting with bigger dots throughout it for me. I normally work smaller. I think 
I can smear that out a little bit and make it work. Those dots look small on this canvas, and that's the number 16. Wow. Okay, I'm going to go with the number, what number is this? Six, and I'm going to put dots in between those in the orange. Just to fill it in a little bit. Go to the number 10 and I'm going to use red again. I'm going to put dots on the lines. going to use some white because I want this to be a bright colorful pattern. And I'm going to go to the number hmm, 8 yellow because I'm going out and I'm just going to go out in a rainbow pattern and then I'm going to probably mix other colors in between so let's see here I'm going to get a huge dot I don't I'm going to go too big because I want to save the biggest ones for out further I'm going to go to a 22 In yellow and I'm gonna put a dot on the next line out even 
with the smaller dots. So on this further line, And we probably need to get some bigger dotting tools in this canvas. Well, we'll see how this turns out. Well, it looks like I got enough room. Maybe I can fit another one in there. Let me see. I know there's enough there, but it'd be too close there. I'm going to go down one size to the 21, and I'm going to put a yellow dot in between each of those. And try not to touch the other ones, but I don't think I'm going to be successful. I'm going to have to turn my canvas, or I'm not going to see it very well. Next color will be green. And I'm going to use number twelve. And I'm going to put a dot in between each one of these yellow ones, just in the curve of it.
Well, the good part about this is it should be able to use a lot of top tops. And a lot more color. I'm going to use the same number, but I'm going to put a blue next and go in between those. So still the number 12. This paint's looser, so my dots are ending up a little bit bigger. going to go to this. I got two color purples. I got this lighter purple and this darker purple. I'm going to go to the lighter purple. And I think I'm going to do a number Number 28, which is my largest. And I'm going to go every other space. So instead of doing in between them all, I'm just going to go every other one. This I'm going to have to turn because these dots are huge.
All right. I need to swirl those out a little bit because some of them are bumped up. And I want it to be mainly flat so I can top dot nicely. I'm just going to spread the paint out a little bit better. It flattens pretty good, but sometimes it needs just a little bit of help. Okay, now I'm going to use my white and I'm going to walk some dots around those. And I'm going to use something bigger. Let's use for my first dot in the center, I'm going to use a number eight. I'm just going to put a dot around each of them to start me out. This always goes in relation to the center, so you want to just imagine an imaginary line going out to that center of that circle. them all the way down. I'm just going to do a few dots. Let's see with the number five. Maybe one. Maybe three dots on each side and then I'm going to go to a lower tool. Oops, sorry. I bumped the camera. Okay, now I'm going to go down to, let's see, number, probably a number three.
Okay. And now I'm going to go to a bigger tool. And I'm going to use that darker purple. Let's go to a uh, number. How can I fit in there? 23. And I'm going to put it right in the center of these. And again, I bumped the camera. Sorry. Keep bumping the camera with my head today for some reason. Again, I'm going to swirl those out a little bit because it's kind of pulling. And it's okay if it pulls. It looks decent when it's done, but if you try and top dot on them, they're uneven. And then it doesn't come out so good. Now I'm going to add some white around those two. I think my middle dot I'm going to do with the number, whatever this is, number five. I'm going to do a white dot right in the middle of all those. And then go use a smaller one. Go down to the number, oh, I don't know, either three or two, probably three. Yep, three. And I'm not going to go all the way down the sides. I'm just going to go, let's see, maybe three dots on each side.
Now I have all my rainbow colors in there. I think I'm going to, let's see, what do I want to do next? I think I'm going to grab uh, maybe the number 14. And I'm going to put some red dots. right at the end of these that we just did. You guys get an advantage because you know what it's going to look like. I make it up as I go along, so I never know what it's going to look like until I'm done. But you guys get the preview picture because I'm already done with it. about this is you're using so much more paint and I'm going through like paper towels like crazy wiping my tools off because there's just so much paint all right now I am going to go with my orange again I'm going to go big And I'm going to go with the number 23, I guess. And I'm going to put an orange dot out from each of those red dots I just made. This orange paint's really disappointing. It just doesn't wanna. This is the number 14, or no, number 23. Let me put that on there so you can know what I'm doing at least. When my paint doesn't spread very good, I just try and get the dot to be circular and then I go and smear the paint because I can always take a paintbrush if I need to to fill it in some more. But if the outside edge is in a circle, that's hard to fix. And 
if you're hearing more noise than normal, it's because my grandkids are on spring break and they are home in the other part of the house and you can hear them. At least I can hear them pretty good in here. So if this week's videos are a little bit more noisy, that's why. I try to film when they're occupied with other things or sleeping. <laughs> oh, I get quiet. But if I wait for that this week, I won't be making any videos because they'll be home all week. Now I'm going to walk dots around those. And I'm going to start with probably the number four again. Or maybe bigger. Number six. With white. Doing that end dot to start out again. I just like that center dot to be bigger. I don't know why. I just do. Go down to the number four and we'll walk some of the dots. I don't think we'll walk them all the way down. I'll probably go to a smaller tool. Yeah, I'm just going to do three dots on either side again. Because otherwise, with these tools, the dot doesn't form a complete circle if you walk it too far. You're better off going to a smaller size. I'm walking a few more. Now these are the do-it-yourself Mandela dotting tools. People ask me all the time what tools I'm using. And a lot of things there that marks Mandela's, but they're not. Those are probably just as nice as these. I've never tried them. But I'll put a link in the description as to where you can get these if you'd like them. I'm in no way associated with them. That's just where I bought them. And I like them. One thing I would like, though, is to figure out how to get them clean easier. I mean, there's they stain. They're not that so much that there's paint left on them. They come nice and clean when you wipe them so that your dots end up really nice still. But they stain, and I'm afraid to take, like, I've taken Clorox wipes to them to try and get it off of there, but I'm half tempted to try and bleach them, but I don't know if that would, like, take a coating off or anything, so I haven't done it yet. 
but I'm one of those people that has to clean my paint all the time so my tips are nice and clean and I don't like anything to be a mess. It's messy when I use it, but I like it clean when I'm done. And I waited too long. I think I should have used a wet cloth to wipe these because now they're all stained if you look at them. You even see it. See, and that just doesn't come off. Okay, I'm gonna go down to number two and walk the rest of the way. so different painting on a canvas compared to cardboard. Cardboard doesn't have any give to it. I think I'm going to do another, I want to do like blue around it. I think that would look pretty. So I'm going to go up to, sorry, um, number five. I'm going to make my center dot with the number five. I'm going to mix my blue paint because it's been sitting for a while. That's big enough. Well, yeah, that's good. My blue paint's a little loose, like the white, so. Do a top dot on top of those. And then I'm going to walk the blue around. And I'm just going to, like, mix the colors up a little bit now. And when I dot, top dot, I'm going to mix the colors up too and just make it all rainbowy. I gravitate towards rainbow colors. Okay. Now that was with the number five. Sorry, I didn't lay it down. I think I did tell you though. I'm going to go down to the number four. I'm not going to go very much smaller. And I'm going to walk three dots on each side like I did before. And then I'm going to go down to lower.
one good thing about this canvas is for most of the video I can at least lay the number on the canvas and you guys can see it rather than I me keep hiding it with my hand which is nice going to go down to the number three. And I probably can finish walking them. We'll see. I might have to go down one more. Yeah, just do three. And then we'll go down to the number two. If you're really into mandalas, if you go to my website, which is lovetocolor.com, it's in my about page on YouTube. I don't have any dot mandalas up there yet, but I do have free coloring pages because I love to dabble with Illustrator and I do make coloring pages as well. I used to sell coloring books, but I haven't done that for the past year because I got sick and just didn't have the time to do it. So now I'm moving down to the number two. And I'm using the number, oh, the number two, and I'm just going to finish with the blue, locking each knots down. However many you need, two or three. Some sides might need more than others. That's okay. Mandalas have been my thing for a long time. I just, I don't know if it's because I'm a Libra, but I like everything even and I like everything symmetrical. It just makes me happy. And probably has nothing to do with astrology or what do they call those zodiac signs or astrology or whatever that is. But it works out good for me because I'm all about balance. <laughs> in it. Now what to do? What to do? What to do? I think I'm going to add some more walking dots around these bigger purple ones just to add a little bit more color there. And I think I'm going to use green or maybe yellow. No, I think green. Okay, so I'm going to go to Number six, 
and I'm going to use green. I'm going to add a little more to my palette because it's dry. No, I got that six, but I actually have the eight in my hand, so let's do number eight. And I'm just going to put a bigger dot above with the number eight, and then go smaller. This is looking really colorful. I'm liking it. Alright, now we're going to go down. And I don't think I'm going to walk them all the way. I think I'm just going to walk them partially. Let's go to number four. It's not very big. I'm going to do three dots. And I might walk them further down. I haven't decided yet. But if I do, I'm going to switch the tool. So do three dots for the number four. to go yeah maybe I'll pull them down a little bit further I'm gonna go with the number three and I am gonna I'm just gonna pull them down to that other one like that So they meet up with that side, the darker purple we circled. Ooh, running out of space to put that. That's a good sign. Means we're getting close to the end. If you guys don't mind, it would be nice if you comment if you like this bigger canvas. I haven't done any of these for the simple fact is 
the video so much longer and I don't know if that's a good thing or not so if you like to see the bigger ones then let me know and I'll post more bigger ones I don't post everything I make let's see now I'm gonna move to number 11 and I'm going to add a yellow dot on top just because I want more of that yellow color and I'm hearing my grandson oh, if you are Almost to top dotting time. Almost. Just leave it at that and do top dots because I kind of like it. I might add a little bit on the corners. I'll have to see. And I'm going to pause you for now because I'm going to blow it dry. I'll be right back. Okay, we're pretty much dried. Now, let's see where I want to start. I think I'm going to start with my bigger dots. Those yellow ones, I just don't like those yellow ones, so I'm going to tap that on them to begin with. Add some more color to them. Let's see how big I want to go. What I'd like to put there is orange, but because my orange is so having such issues, I'm not going to do that. I think I'm going to put blue. And I've got the number 13. And I'll probably dot on those with yellow again, just to bring the yellow out more. Let's see. What to do next? I'm going to go down to number eight. And I'm going to put, let's see what color I want to put there. Maybe for something different. Oh, maybe I'll just use white. Let me just use white on those. So number eight, I'm going to do a white dot on these orange ones. Just on the bigger ones.
Boy, I put a lot on that one. My paint's drying out. Now you really gotta watch when you're dotting, tap dotting these, that you don't like dot these outside ones and then set your hand on it. Done, I've done that. It's not pretty. Okay, and then on these red ones, I'm gonna use the number four, and I'm going to put yellow dots on them. Number five. And I think I'm going to do white dots again. I'm going to do it on these blue ones. I like to use a lot of white when I'm doing rainbow colors because it really accents, it brightens the whole image up. Now for something different, I think I'm going to try and see what this looks like. Still using a number five. I'm going to do black on my green. Just to pull the background in a little bit. I might use more black in my top dots. But I'm going to be doing multiple top dots on these, so... I don't know that I'm going to leave it black on top. I'll probably dot another color on top of that. But we'll have to see. Especially when I'm doing rainbow. My mom watches this. She'll know what I'm talking about. It reminds me of an afghan my grandma made years ago it was on her sofa and it was a rainbow color zigzag afghan and it had all the rainbow colors and black and that's what I think of all the time when I think of rainbow colors with black I'm actually liking the black. I think I might do black on these orange dots and then redot them another color on top. But not yet because I don't want to put my hand in it. Let's see. I'm going to use white, I think. Um, number 18. 
and on those big purple, the lighter color purple, I'm going to put a big white dot on each of them. And some people like to put the dots like right at the edge in the center and that to give it a different look instead of in the middle. It's so whatever you feel like doing. And that's what I always paint, whatever I feel like doing. Make it up as I go along. Sometimes I end up loving it, sometimes I end up eh, not liking it. <laughs> But it's relaxing and it's fun for me, so that's all that matters. Okay. I'll go to a smaller one. Maybe 11. And I'm going to use yellow on those other purples. Okay, and now I am going to go big. I'm going to do those orange dots with black. And then I'm going to go blow dry it again. Let's see how big I want to go. I'm thinking number 13. Let's see. What number is that? Number 13. Maybe not. Um... I don't want to go way too big. Okay, number 12. Okay. Now I'm going to break again and I'm going to blow this dry and come back in and do more. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now, it's hard to tell when those dots are dry because that one's a glossy paint. I'm going to go in and I'm going to add more colors, I think, to that yellow and the blue circles to start out with. And I'm going to put, I think, another yellow dot on top. 
And I'm going to use number six. Now if you just use like the same color and lighten it or darken it, it'll give it a more 3D looking dot instead of like these circles like I got here. And I kind of like that better, but I was just playing around and this is what I did. So this is what it is. And I'm going to go in with the number two. I think I'm just going to go with that theme. I'm going to do orange on top of the other orange ones here. And I think with the number two, I'm going to add my red just kind of dried out red dots to those white ones just to give that some more color. Now I'm going to go the same thing. I'm going to go up in size. Let's see here. Um, let's go with the number six. Now I'm going to use that darker purple and I'm going to uh, on those yellow. And then I'm going to go up a little bit and do the other purples. Clip to an eight. Don't forget to stir your paint when it's been sitting this long or it gets clumpy.
And then I think I'm going to use this. Yeah. Maybe go down. Go down to a six. Number six. And I'm going to do orange dots on those black dots. to down them twice. My paint is kind of see-through. them dry a little bit and I'm going to put white dots with the number six so I don't forget I was using a number six on these red dots that I didn't top dot yet. Try and dot on my orange ones again. Just add a little more paint to the ones that are looking kind of transparent. Definitely different than anything I've done before. I don't normally do a circular pattern like that. I think I might just leave it at that. What do you think? And you can go in, wait for it to dry, and put more top dots. Put some on those yellow ones that I didn't on the outside edges. And like I said, if you wanted these to look more, um, more like a three-dimensional dot in that color, don't use a different color. Just use the same color in a different shade, lighter or darker, and graduate it up. And it won't look like circles like that then. But I don't mind it. It looks okay. So thanks for watching. Like I said, if you like these bigger patterns like that, let me know and I'll make more of them. But they just take up so much time. I didn't know if people would like to watch those or not. So happy dotting. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.